Hey everyone, figure let's uh, go live today from the product set. Had to come in and grab a couple of things. So we're gonna bump up the Tuesday webinar a little bit and just wanna talk to you guys a little bit about my background on what got me into doTERRA, to doTERRA as a wellness advocate. Uh, we're gonna be teasing this class again in two weeks in more detail, but wanted to know or wanted you to know what got me from point A to point B and eventually got me here to where I'm sitting now in the doTERRA product center here in Tokyo. So I started uh, in college as a newspaper editor for, uh, well, as a sports writer and was an editor of the sports section of a newspaper for a while. After that, I eventually gravitated over into marketing and was a marketing coordinator for another company for a while after doing some other things within that company. Uh, about three years ago, I had the opportunity to move out here to Japan with my wife and kids and been out here and have been learning to enjoy it. Recently, we were able to switch gears and since my wife had been working the corporate side of doTERRA, we weren't able to do the wellness advocacy side. So we switched gears and I was able to become a wellness advocate. Mainly, the choice to do this for me was uh, we really believed in the product and it was something we've been using for nearly seven years anyway. Now, I'll be honest, when she first started working doTERRA, I hesitated. I thought it was a load of crap. I'm going to be flat out honest with it. I was like, that holistic crap? Come on, I'm a guy. I don't believe in that jargon and all that. I wanted nothing to do with it. It took me about a year, year and a half to really warm up to it and see that, holy crap, this product actually works. My fussy kid that was up due to teething at night was able to be calmed down and was able to sleep through the night by using like lavender and vetiver and other things. So I started to warm up to it, and I saw that these products actually fulfilled the need. So it threw me off. So my stance against holistic medicines and uh, things like that immediately started to decay, and I started to see that uh, this was an actual product that could be used. Um, so it was a weird experience for me, because I went from this very, it's got to be very much hands off, back up, I want nothing to do with this, to this is actually a viable product and it's not just a fad or anything else when I started to look into it more when I did my own research to see how long this stuff had been around the thousands of years that people had been using it and it was when they went to the natural sources that they could really see that it worked and you see all these groups of people from all over the world for centuries that have been using stuff like lavender peppermint frankincense and that it actually worked it changed my gears instead of being very hands-off with uh, holistic type medicines and wellness like uh, doTERRA type stuff I gained a great appreciation for it so that's what really got me to want to be an advocate I started seeing what the product could do in my own life I started to see that it was a natural remedy for a lot of things now I'm not gonna be one that tells you this is a cure-all because it's not but when you're feeling something and you're going through something the best place to start for me personally is the least invasive so you start with this. If it doesn't work, go on to the next thing that your body needs to help heal and recover. But if it's medicine that's been around for thousands of years versus modern medicine that's been around for 100 or 200 years, I'm gonna side on holistic and believe in it a little bit. I've seen what it can do, and it's been a great experience with it. Now, with my background and stuff like that, I honestly never thought I would do this. To be a wellness advocate, my my background personally is marketing and newsprint with the goal of I eventually wanted to go into public relations. But when I thought about it, what I enjoy doing most is help healing people and giving them resources that they can succeed with. So that's why I've joined as a wellness advocate with the doTERRA team and absolutely love what I'm doing. I've learned and grown so much by doing this. I'm doing things that I never thought possible. I've never built a website before and I've done that now. I had no idea what SEO was and I've learned what that is and how to optimize that. I'm learning and growing in ways not just with the product but as a business standpoint as well. So it's given me more confidence in a world of chaos ultimately. And that's why I chose to become a wellness advocate. And that's why I'm sitting here in the doTERRA uh, product center right now out here in Tokyo. Because it's something I chose for my life and I'm hoping it's something that you all will choose for yourself as well. Take a chance on yourself. There's a business side to this as well that's not just the product, but a side that can give you the financial freedom that you're seeking in a lot of ways. It's why I signed up. I saw that I could make money off of using the oils as well. It's a product that either way, I'm going to be using for 10, 20 years down the line because I've fallen in love with it. 
and it's something I believe that as you gain experiences with it, you can too. Check out my offers that I've currently got on the Nail the Essentials page. We've got two things going on. You can order a sample kit where all you're paying for is shipping, and I'll ship you out eight sample vials, uh, or not eight, sorry, four sample vials of your choice to get a taste for it. Or if you sign up as Wellness Advocate, I'm doing my promotion on the shot of doTERRA where it's kind of a thank you gift and I give you tools to succeed that teach you the business side of it as well. Now, doTERRA is self-advertising. Uh, you have to go out there and promote it yourself and things like that, which I really like because as the marketing side of me, it's something I enjoy doing. I love that side of it where I'm very hands-on and kind of marketing to different people in different regions. It puts me in charge of it and it puts me in charge of my own success and I love that aspect of it. Now, I get to use daily products that I absolutely love. Those of you that have been with me saw that I just did a 30-day Slim and Sassy Challenge. As you can tell, I'm a week and a half afterwards. I still haven't gained any weight after being off of it. It helped me shed the weight and keep it off. And I love that. And that's something I hadn't experienced with it. So the more I use these products, the more I fall in love with it. And that's a great thing. I use it even in laundry. I use it to help clean dishes. I use it the shampoos and stuff like that. I've even created my own little thing for aftershave since I've got sensitive skin when I shave. And I've found that the mix of white fur, uh, frankincense, and uh, melaleuca really goes a long way. And when I mix the three together and it helps soothe the skin in ways that I didn't know about. So as I've gotten my hands on more of the product, the more I fall in love with it, which makes me want to do the business side even more. And that's why I'm doing it today. And that's my goal with each of you is take a chance on yourself. Believe that you can succeed and you will. Know this, that when you do, you're not alone. You've got me along for the ride. I've had experience with this products now for about seven years and I'm gonna continue to get my hands on it daily. I wanna learn all about it. There's so many different products that do so many different things with doTERRA that it's really up to you on what you want. Are you more worried about the mental side? Are you drained daily? Are you needing a pick-me-up? Reach for an oil that'll help. Put your diffusers to work at home. If you're feeling restless at night, reach for lavender. If you're high stressed at work, reach for geranium to help with your anxiety. Reach for peppermint when you're needing that boost of energy. There's so many different, not just oils, but products in your home, even the skincare lines, that are based off the essential oils that are put into those products because they've been around for thousands of years. They're meant to help you. Again, this was something I didn't think I'd get into. I mean, the holistic type medicines and the natural healing type stuff wasn't my cup of tea at first, but I grew to fall in love with it as I used the product. And it's my hope and goal that each of you, as you gain experiences with this product, that you'll find greater joy and peace in your life. And I promise you, you will. Take a chance on success, believe that you can, and nail the essentials. That's what this is all about. Thanks for stopping by the webinar today, and I look forward to seeing you on Friday's webinar where we talk a little bit about what oil is right for you and finding your own personal oil so you can gain your own testimony of it. So those of you that watched today, thank you. Look forward to seeing you later.